Do you want to grow your recruiting business? By the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a five-step process that will help you get consistent revenue in your recruiting business. Now, this is going to require an entirely new set of beliefs. And this training here is not for the sheep. This is for the lions. This is for the leaders. This is for the people that are looking for something new and different in the marketplace. If you want to learn lead generation skills from a headhunter, this video isn't going to be for you. But if you want to learn lead generation and online marketing from an actual online marketing and lead generation coach and expert, then you will enjoy this video. Now, everything I'm about to share with you comes from the years of experience of helping my clients like Renee Fry, Ben Bonnell, Jessica Shuttleworth, Katie Kelly, all grow their recruiting businesses into a consistent revenue stream. Okay. And so, you know, for the best online marketing and lead generation advice, make sure that you subscribe to this channel as I roll out new videos every single week all about the best automation, online marketing, specifically for the staffing and recruiting industry. And also hit that little bell in the corner so you're notified. So the first thing that we wanna do as we dive in is we wanna leave everything that you know in the past. You know, most recruiting businesses that are generating less than 50,000 a month are really based on luck. And they're really based off of that manual hustle that's been taught in this industry for years and years and years. So if you are committed to, you know, being owned by the phone and you're committed to, and you are still believing that hundred dials a day is the only way to grow your recruiting business, let's save ourselves some both time. You can go ahead and stop this video right now. The rest of what I'm about to share isn't going to resonate. You got to leave what you've been taught in the past and you really need to open up into a fresh perspective because there's a lot more out there that isn't based on hustle, that isn't based on grind, but is based on, you know, more attraction and automation and authenticity and things like that. So once we've left everything behind, your next focus is you need to focus on standing out and becoming relevant, okay? Let's face it, this industry is just saturated with competition from all different angles. And if you don't how, know how to position yourself and stand out, the harsh reality is you're just a commodity to the people in the marketplace, not the ones that work with you and trust you and you know, you've been able to knock down the door, door to, but if you're looking to consistently grow this business and grow it massively, you have to be something to somebody. And you need to do it in a way that is very consistent so that you be can become relevant. And we want to really focus on what is our core target market here so we can create a relevant offer, you know, very specific to that, um, to that market, right? It's not really about getting bunches and thousands and thousands of job orders. It's about how can I stay top of mind consistently and really become relevant and stand out to my ideal market. Um, and really, you know, in the ideal world, you want to be the authority to these individuals, okay? Um, and that's really how we can get the most impact and the most bang for your buck um, when you're going into the next things that I'm about to share with you is when we know exactly who we're trying to be relevant to and we can stand out so we're not just viewed as another recruiter. So once you understand how to become relevant and stand out, the next thing you want to focus on is we need to increase the demand for your services. And increasing the demand for your services is really hard when you're trying to just do everything outbound with phone calls, Okay. So this is the most obvious actionable step, you know, in order to get consistent $50,000 plus months in your recruiting business is simply to just get more people that want to do business with you. So what does that mean in the most layman's terms? You need to increase your lead flow of clients, right? We need to find a way that we can start to expose your brand to new prospects every single day. And we want to do this in a way that is a little bit more automatic. It's not going to take um, as much of your manual effort. And we're not going to do, you know, things in, in, in keep your business on the shaky foundation, right? Um, this is really going to be the key to the success is how you can really leverage yourself to create more demand. And if you can't predictably develop relationships at scale automatically, you know, through the tools of online marketing, your ability to continue to grow your business um, will really be stunted um, simply because, you know, you're not going to have, you're going to be hundred percent relying on manual effort. And as your competitors learn these things, they're just going to be able to scale much faster because they'll have much more reach, much more eyeballs coming after the recruiting brand than you will. And not only that is when you're working this grind, burnout is inevitable, right? You, it's very hard to do a hundred calls a day, 365 days a year, and think that you're going to do that at a very high level and be able to scale your team, right? So the simple solution is just having a marketing method that's based off of connection, that's based off of, you know, relationships and based off of being able to do that at scale and do that repeatable is going to be, you know, kind of the linchpin to be able to get you that increased lead flow that you're after. Now, once you have the increased lead flow, you know, and you start to build awareness around your brand and people start to see you as become, you know, being relevant to them, you know, 
the thing about this industry is nobody started to hire a recruiter because they were good at marketing. Um, we need to be there when their need arises, right? And that's where we really want to focus on being top of mind, okay? So if you really want to grow your recruiting business massively, you need to have a system in place that's going to consistently keep you top of mind. Again, that doesn't always be focused on you picking up the phone. Now, I've said this a couple of times, so I don't want to get it twisted. You have to be good on the phone to win in this industry. But the way we get on the phone is where you really want to change. I only like to get on the phone with people that reach out to me and want to get on the phone with me. And that's the ultimate position of power that you want to go for in your business. Now, this isn't a snap of the thumb. This isn't something that happens overnight. This happens through consistency and through proven methodologies and things like that that allow your clients to get to know, like, and trust you. And being top of mind is the key thing here because when their need arises, we need to be the most relevant choice. We can't be a relevant choice when there's no need. Um, now we've just made a nice little connection that we feel good about. But in order for us to really maximize our revenue and massively grow our recruiting business, being top of mind is going to be 100% key for you. So, you know, you really want to be present across multiple um, channels here. We're looking at LinkedIn, we're looking at email, we're looking at, you know, articles, videos, YouTube, Facebook, um, AdRoll. There's all these different ways to stay top of mind. And you want to look at it as across the platforms because every one of your prospects is a little bit different in, in terms of their behavior. And when you do this right, there's a couple of key little things you can do to make sure that you're only staying top of mind to the most obvious people that, that really have a need for your services. And there's a couple of things you can do that really kind of get people to raise their hand to say, yeah, um, I'm, I'm not hiring right now, but I'll be hiring in the future and we want to market to those people. Now think about that. That's really the, the key thing about this is marketing to people that are going to need your services in the future is actually better than marketing to people that need your services now. Why? Because if I'm marketing to people that you know, need my services in the future, then I can get them to know, like, and trust me and, be, and view me as an authority rather than scrambling, looking for somebody to, yeah, you know what, you can go ahead and, and, and work on this job too. Um, and now you're just working on another job with 15 other recruiters that have already submitted all the candidates that you would submit um, and ultimately just wasting a ton of your time, a ton of your energy and a ton, a ton of your effort. So the last tip here is focusing on your respect. How many of you guys have wasted time on jobs that you'll never fill? Well, it's time for you, if we're being honest, just to look in the mirror and realize that the market doesn't have the respect for you that you have that, that they need to um, in order for you to be able to get those exclusives and retains. And that's where we really want to make you the authority in the market. So when we become relevant and we really focus on standing out and we focus on increasing our lead flow and we still focus on staying top of mind, ultimately what all that should result to is more of an authoritative position in, in the market. Because in order to up level, you must only work with companies that value what you bring to the table. I'm going to say that again. In order for you to up level, you must only work with companies that value what it is that you bring in the table. And so that is really where you're going to get more exclusive and retained opportunities. And even if you stay contingent, you at least get that first crack at it because they know you. They know you can do the job. They like you. They see that you're not just another recruiter. You have something that can help solve a much bigger problem for them. So I know this isn't an easy, quick fix for you guys, but this is the way of the future. And this is where you're going to really grow your business. And if you want to reach those months that are 50,000 and above consistently and do that on repeat over and over and over again, like I said, it's going to take a new way of thinking. It's going to require you to become relevant and stand out in the marketplace. It's going to require you to increase the lead flow. It's going to, it's going to require you to stay top of mind. And it's going to require you to look in the mirror and make sure you're demanding the respect that you deserve from the marketplace. So you're only focusing on jobs and working on, on searches that you are confident that you can fill and there's a good opportunity for you to make money there. So again, this type of an approach, this isn't for the sheep. This is for the lions. This is for the leaders. This is for the people that are willing to go out and lead their marketplace. So if you found this video training helpful, you know, head over to my Facebook group. We've got a free community where we're sharing all different types of things around online marketing, lead generation, video marketing, automation. Um, anything that has to do with growing your recruiting business, the link to that group is in the comments below. And if you like this video, um, you know, give me a like, comment, or share, and let me know what your biggest challenge you're facing right now is when it comes to growing your recruiting business. So this is Donnie Gupton. We'll see you in the next one.